Thank you very much, Mr. President. Excellencies, friends, and colleagues, it's truly an honor to join these distinguished panelists and partner organizations as we come together to reflect on our collective efforts to better integrate gender and a victim-centered approach into the work of the Human Rights Council. Investigative bodies of the Council play a critical role in un uncovering violations of international human rights, humanitarian law, and international criminal law. Their mission is clear to hold accountable those responsible for these violations and to ensure justice and redress for victims. Integrating a gender perspective into all human rights work is not just important, it is essential. This becomes especially crucial when conducting human rights investigations. By incorporating gender, we expand the scope of our prevention and protection efforts and gain deeper insights into the different impacts of human rights violations on diverse populations. This in turn leads to more accurate, relevant, and comprehensive documentation and data collection, ultimately improving our ability to safeguard the human rights of all. Since 2012, our office, UN Women, and Justice Rapid Response have come together with a clear mission to strengthen the investigative mechanisms of the Council by fully integrating gender into their work. Through the deployment of gender advisors and gender-based violence investigators, we have seen a significant advancement in integrating a gender perspective across the broad spectrum of human rights violations investigated by the mechanisms, moving beyond the sole focus of gender-based violence. All investigative bodies have already benefited from the support of gender advisors. Together, we have made great strides from redefining how mandates are established and interpreted to planning and executing gender responsive investigations, to producing reports that shine a light on the gendered impacts of human rights violations. Our effort has ensured that the voices and experiences of all individuals are recognized and addressed in the pursuit of justice. Reports of investigative bodies now delve deeper into the root causes that place women and girls at greater risk during times of crisis. For example, the Commission of Inquiry on Ukraine has brought uh, to light a harsh truth that is often overlooked. Women who stay behind in their villages to care for elderly relatives or those with disabilities are among the most vulnerable. When armed forces overtake their areas, they face the constant threat of shelling and gender-based violence. The pain and profound trauma don't stop there. After losing loved ones, these survivors face a daunting task of finding housing and accessing essential services. Survivors have shared their stories, revealing the immense challenges they continue to face in the aftermath of such devastation. The Independent International Commission of Inquiry on the Syrian Arab Republic has documented the distinct gendered impact that enforced disappearances have on widows and wives of the disappeared. This includes the financial strain that comes with women suddenly becoming heads of households, the challenges arising from a legal, lack of legal ownership over their homes, and the harassments and threats, threats they face from authorities, often due to their perceived political affiliations. This gendered impact adds another layer to the hardship of an already devastating situation. The Independent International Fact-Finding Mission on the Bol Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela shed light on the significant gender challenges women encounter in politics. Women interviewed spoke of a widespread culture of political violence that specifically targets them for daring to step into the public sphere. In addition, women endure gender-based assaults, often in the form of demeaning comments about their appearance and capabilities. These sexist attacks not only hinder their political participation, but also create an even more hostile environment that discourages many from pursuing public office. Some investigative bodies are adopting survivor-centered, gender-sensitive, and trauma-informed approaches to ensure the well-being of victims and witnesses, particularly survivors of sexual and gender-based violence. Enhancing the understanding of trauma, reducing the risks of re-interviewing, and applying intersectionality are identified as key areas for enhancing future investigations. These examples demonstrate the growing integration of gender considerations in the methodologies, findings, and recommendations of investigative mechanisms addressing human rights violations. It would not have been possible to achieve such a result without the invaluable guidance and expertise provided by gender advisors and investigators specializing in gender-based violence within these teams. While mandates have increasingly been designed with a gender perspective, 
Recent research has shown that there is still insufficient attention given to the violations of sexual and reproductive health and rights. The High Commissioner for Human Rights in a 2018 report on preventable maternal morbidity and mortality called for an enhanced attention of investigative bodies to sexual and reproductive rights. Human rights mechanisms, our office and other UN entities have repeatedly demonstrating, demonstrated that ensuring women and girls' sexual and reproductive health and rights is absolutely essential to achieving true gender equality and is nowhere more important than in the context of conflicts and crisis. The office has also been enhancing its capacity of its field presences to further integrate gender perspectives into the monitoring efforts through targeted training, the development of tools, and the introduction of trauma-informed interviewing techniques for survivors of sexual violence. In addition, in alignment with our office management plan, we are committed to significantly continuing to enhance our internal capacity. In addition to HRC mandated investigations, in line with our updated strategy on gender-based violence, the office is also currently strengthening its own support capacity towards ensuring that gender-based violence as well as gender-specific impacts of human rights violations and abuses are fully integrated into perspectives across the broad spectrum. Oops, sorry. Um, any supported investigation through the inclusion of sexual and gender-based violence and gender expertise within the newly established um, OHCHR Human Rights Inquiries branch. I look forward to hearing more from our esteemed panelists today on the key lessons learned and exemplary practices they have identified in this critical work. Thank you. <laughs>